By the time I got there, the village was already destroyed and the Dragon Ball was missing. And you didn't find out where it was? Well, I knew that Vegeta might be around there somewhere. That's when I j When you fled like a little coward. Well, no, I... Uh, but... I hope you took note, Zarbon. That's what'll happen to you if you don't find Vegeta and make him tell you where that Dragon Ball is. Huh? Bring Vegeta to me now. Alive, or you may suffer the same fate as our little friend here. Uh. Apu! Yes, sir! Contact the home planet and call for the Ginyu squad. Tell them to bring scouters. There's no need to delay things any further. The Ginyu will tear these jokers to pieces. Uh. Go now! Yes, Frieza! The Ginyu? I don't think we need them. Not yet. There's no telling what they'll do once they get here. I've got the situation under control. You've got to trust me. I have a strange feeling about the scene. What? A strange feeling? For some time now, I felt that the Saiyans might grow to become my mortal enemies, and now there's a chance that this premonition might be coming true. Huh? And it's not just Vegeta who I'm concerned with anymore. But those Earth Saiyans are even weaker than he is. You can't possibly be scared of those little rats. They're far inferior to Vegeta. I can't believe you'd let those weaklings even concern you for a moment, Frieza. You're much stronger. So, Zarbon, you're telling me that I'm wrong, is that correct? No, sir. I'm glad to hear it. You'd better find Vegeta and bring him before me. Yes, sir. Right away. <sighs> Frieza really is serious. These Saiyans are proving to be quite a thorn in my side. It seems the more they fight, the stronger they become. Of course, I'm still much more powerful than they are, but if they keep multiplying their strength, then who knows what the future will hold? I'd better take care of them now.